by networking and getting out there, you'll have so many different options. You'll, basically, you need to use your all your tools in the toolbox. And you're asking, like, what do we do about is you sign a contract with someone? So real quick, before you did that, did you... more than 30 years i got my real estate license in the um, and your your origin story is that he uh, he made an age joke the last time we were uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna use that kuka you know I, i'm a little more strict with what i'm i'm looking at uh when you're dealing with a off-market property whether it be a wholesale deal a fix and flip, or even a buy and hold. When you're talking with the seller, you want to listen. You want to listen to what their problems are, listen to what their situation is, and you want to figure out what's the solution, especially as a wholesaler. You want to figure out what's the solution to their problem, okay? Listen. By listening, you can uh, figure out what their true problem is because what they tell you at first might not be the actual problem. So you got to let them get comfortable with you as much as possible. If you don't, they're not going to open up to you. They're going to come up with a retail number that you're not even going to be able to, to work with. So oh, with that being said, gain their trust. Let them know you're there to help them and be truly there to help them. Okay. Even if you don't make the deal with them, say, Hey, I'm, I'm happy to, you know, give you the number to a good and trusted realtor. Um, even if I'm not the offer that you need to go with. Okay. So, uh, by all means, all I want to do is come in here and help you out as much as possible. Those words right there, that will get somebody to trust you. Okay. But you have to actually mean it because people can tell when you don't actually mean that. I have actually said that multiple times and I truly do mean it. I pass deals along to other agents and things like that. I am not an agent, so I'm not going to try. But what they do is, is in turn, that agent is going to give me a property that's off market and possibly work with me on that, that they won't be able to sell. So it kind of works both ways by networking and getting out there. You'll have so many different options. You'll, basically, you need to use your all your tools in the toolbox, okay? And you need to be able to grab one out at a moment's notice. So talking with a seller, dealing with a seller, it's all about pulling your tools out from your toolbox. Help people out as much as possible. Uh, in turn, you will get that coming back. It may not be right away. It may not. But enough people, your reputation will precede you. Okay? On that, let's all do deals together. There was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room